going to show you how to uh, how I single-handedly launch and retrieve my Alaska 500, my little small fishing boat. Um, pretty easy process. To be honest, it's all about having a routine. Make sure you sort of mentally have that to-do list um, in your head. Don't forget the drain bung. Um, and just, just methodically going through it, not forgetting anyone. Don't let anyone rush you. You'll get people standing over the sides. Uh, yeah, oh, you've done it yet, mate. Come on. Just ignore them, because at the end of the day, if you speed things up, it might save two minutes, but you forget to do something, you forget your drain plug, you forget your strap, that's going to be your loss, that's going to be your damage, you're going to have to pay to repair for, for someone else's time, so just tell them to uh, very politely hold your horses, but we'll go through the routine now, and then we'll see, um, see how we get on. But my general of, uh, routine would be take the strap off, lower the engine down, take the engine cover off, um, then I'll jump in the boat, put the drain plug in my pocket so I can feel that in my pocket and I don't forget that. And then take things like the towing board off and that sort of thing. Um, final check over the boat, get the rods out of the way and, uh, and go from there. Right, so underneath my trailer, I've adjusted it so that it doesn't actually touch these center keel runners, you see? All right, it's only on the two sets of rollers. Yeah, so when I reverse down the slipway, it's only gonna be held on by the winch and obviously the retaining strap. And this has made it, this little modification, or modification, adjustment, has made it 10 times easier to launch. It's just ready to roll off. But I'll show you how I stop it rolling off in a second. Right, so down at the bottom of the slip, and from this point on, everything is belt and braces. We've got front wheels on full lock, so that if the it jumps out of park or handbrake snaps, it will hopefully jackknife the trailer and hit the side, or hopefully the trailer is stopping it, um, and it wouldn't end up in the water. Okay, so because uh, it's just on the roller, it's not on the keel band, um, it's going to shoot away as soon as I let this off. So, top cleat. Or front cleat, tie both round, nice and tight, round the bottom of the metal, up through there, and then tie it off a couple of times and lock it. There. Now this has got quite a bit of stretch in this rope, but I can then let go of the safety one. So we're just sitting on the wheel now, and then. Let it go back until the rope starts to tighten up. Start taking strain on the rope. There's no strain on the winch, so I'm just going to slowly get you through the front door. Ooh, I always keep a towel in here because you don't want to get all that mud and stuff onto the boat before you start. Easy as that. Same thing. Now we'll let the 
open. Leave that there because that'll be your bow line. Then get the pontoon, and then just knock it into reverse, and it'll just take itself off. You do this, so try and keep the weight in the middle of the boat. as far as I'm going to take it. You can see the edge of the rollers on the outside, the middle ones are down. Winch strap is hooked over the back keel roller just there and that's what I'm going to aim for with the boat. In park, handbrake on, wheels turned. There she is all back on. Twin straps on the winch. Safe coat for the brake. Lighting board, the lot. Easy peasy, all you gotta do is get yourself a, a routine. So that sort of mental to-do list. Um, make sure you don't miss anything. And practice makes perfect, really. That wasn't my finest uh, launch. You might have seen at the end, 
I had to get the boat hook. And that's because I've got the bungees that hold the, the rollers in one direction. Um, they get caught on the, on the keel band. So I just got to nudge them down. So I've got to find a better way of doing that really. But one of those, again, just little modifications to, to the way I do things and to the trailer and the boat. See you again.